all the glitz and glamour of flappers, jazz music, and art, the 20s were powered by fear. A clash of morals between the old generation and new sparks anger and conflict. This time of unrevealed cultural, ideological, and racial growth are admired by many, but just below the surface, it is obvious that the 1920s were fueled by the public's fear of those unlike themselves in origin and beliefs. One of the best examples of a cultural clash between generations caused by fear is the Scopes Monkey Trial of 1925. In the 1920s, support for the theory of evolution by the younger generation had grown tremendously, while the disdain for an idea as opposed to religion as evolution only grew among the older generation. In more conservative states, laws were passed that banned the teaching of evolution in public schools. The notable attorney, Clarence Darrow, promised to defend anyone in the state of Tennessee who would break this law. In order to draw attention to the town of Dayton, the Civics Liberties Union recruited John Scopes to break the law attracting believers of both sides to Dayton. During the trial, Clarence Darrow faced off against a rival attorney named Williams Jennings Bryan, whose stance on evolution was, there is no more reason to believe that man descended from some inferior animal than there is to believe that a stately mansion has descended from a small cottage. The trial eventually concluded with John Scopes being convicted guilty, but the conviction was overruled by the state because of a technicality. It proved that the conflicts were caused by the fear held by the old and new generations. Immigration has been controversial in this country since its origin and was a big topic of conversation in the 1920s. Non-natives were feared badly by the public. Because of the lack of immigration during the First World War, the country had proven to itself that its economy didn't rely on outsiders coming in. Fearful. This trial is needed and shows how our science field is growing. Oh, I Are you fearful? I'm worried for our society. I don't want my grandkids to grow up on these lies that Scopes is trying to spread. He's foolish for thinking he can win this case. Do you believe Scopes should be found guilty? No, he should not be found guilty. It has been proven for years by the Bible that humans were made just the way they were. Yes, the younger generation needs to be informed about how we as humans came to be. No, all our children need to be taught is what's in the Bible. Immigration has been controversial in this country since its origin and was a big topic of conversation in the 1920s. Non-natives were feared badly by the public. Because of the lack of immigration during the First World War, the country had proven to itself that its economy didn't rely on outsiders coming in. The natives' problem with immigrants was their fear of them, fear that these outsiders will overwhelm and undermine the unique way of life that makes America great. In World War I, the U.S. had become too comfortable with isolation. As immigrants were arriving at Ellis Island, stocks were booming and they saw no reason to let thousands of immigrants in. World War I revealed that this economy could function effectively without foreign immigration. Opposition to immigration and restriction withered away. Everybody in the nation saw immigration as something they could put their wealth at stake, creating a fear of outsiders that would last 
throughout the 20s. As evident, the major conflicts of the 20s were caused by the fear of those unlike you, whether it be in political ideology, national origin, or personal belief. Because of this, it is clear that the 20s were a time defined and fueled by the fear of the public at the time. Make me forget the voice 